Hey, yo. E-King's Fight News. Deontay Wilder reveals what Kenny Bayless told him in the dressing room before Tyson Fury and what Kenny Bayless actually did. Let's talk about it and the performance of Kenny Bayless refereeing the Wilder Fury 2 fight. Let's get it in, man. It's E-King Fight News. All right, let's, if you, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Everybody's welcome over here. And y'all know what it is, man. Smash the like button. Let's get into this Kenny Bayless shit. Sea King Fight News. All right, first and foremost, let's talk about Kenny Bayless' background as a referee. Let's talk about his background. Who is Kenny Bayless? We got the article up here. Shout out to the sun. Nevada ref Bayless has been keeping control of action in boxing since 1992. He's officiated some of the sport's biggest stars, including Pacquiao, Mayweather, De La Hoya, Canelo Alvarez. The 69-year-old is recognizable for saying, what I say you must obey. Bayless marshaled Wilder's win over Ortiz in September, the first and only time he shared the ring with the bronze bomber. All right. So you mean to tell me, in the biggest heavyweight fight of the year, this year, the Nevada State Athletic Commission will ch chose the 69-year-old Kenny Bayless, 69-year-old guy, to referee and control the action of two of the, of the biggest heavyweights out here, top two heavyweights out here. I don't know about you guys, but 69, if you're 69 years old, you sit down and retire, bro. Sit down and retire. I don't want to have no 69-year-old ref in a heavyweight fight. And I'm, I'm surprised this issue was not brought up uh, going into the fight. I'm surprised. All right, let's get to point number two. Deontay Wilder basically goes off on referee Kenny Bayless, accuses him of bias towards Tyson Fury. So let's talk about it, man. Was there bias on Kenny Bayless's part towards Tyson Fury? Was there bias? Did he call shit on Tyson Fury that he ba did he or, or sorry, did he call fouls that he would normally call on on any fighter that that were missed in this fight as you can see Bayless is in clear view of Tyson Fury landing a shot on the back of the head right there as you can see all right so this was a uh, an article out of Metro Sport February 25th all right, so not too long ago, Deontay Wilder has slammed referee Bayless his officiating in regards to how he how he handled the Tyson Fury fight. He's saying he he believes Tyson Fury got away with a number of illegal punches. Right? Wilder had complained to Bayless after the first knockdown, which came in the third round, that the punch was behind the back of his head and was very unhappy with how the fight was refereed. Speaking to The Athletic, Wilder said Bayless had come into my dressing room, looked me in my eyes, and said if I hit Fury in the back of the head, rabbit punch, or hit off the break, he would disqualify me or deduct two points from me. I guess those rules just applied to me because they didn't apply to my opponent. Fury hit me in the back of the neck and head all night. And Bayless didn't do anything about it. To the point, I got lumps and bruises. He's saying he got lumps and bruises on his, on the, on the back area of his neck and head. That's the thing that was very frustrating to me. Asked about his reasoning or his reaction to when Fury got deducted a point in the fifth round, Wilder said, 
Why are you taking a point now when he's been doing this all through the fight? What happened to that speech? What happened to that disqualification? All those things you said you'd do to me. So Wilder, in his brief words after the fight, he did implicate referee Kenny Bayless. <clears throat> which, which I find very intriguing. Um, major media sources didn't really pick up on it. In fact, they chose... They chose to talk about Wilder's costume. Because Wilder said, you know, the costume was heavy. <laughs> costume was heavy at the time, and it may have affected the strength of his legs. Now, I don't know how. I don't know how. That wasn't the right thing to say at that time. It wasn't. But Wilder continued, when I fell for the first time, he hit me in the back of the head. I turned around and held up my arms to the referee. By the third round, my legs were really shot. The way I was hitting the mitts and training, I was more prepared for this fight than anything. The only thing I was not prepared to do was fight on wobbly legs. All right. So there, there's a shot in slow motion. That was the initial knockdown that damaged Deontay Wilder. That was a shot that took him. A lot of people think he could not recover from this uh, this shot. Now, the odd thing about this is Deontay Wilder fought a very tough and game Luis Ortiz, but he never went down. This would be not the first time he's been knocked down, the, but the first time in a very long time at which Deontay Wilder had been seriously hurt in a fight. And my only question as of right now is after the knockdown, did Tyson Fury continuously try and hit Deontay Wilder on the back of the head? And did Kenny Bayless do anything about it? Right, he took away a point, one point, one point in the fifth round. Right, we all know he took away one point. Should he have done more in that fight? I know in the grand scheme of things, maybe it doesn't matter. But I'm not going to sit here and ignore a shit job by a referee like Kenny Bayless, who's supposed to be whose favorite referee? Whose favorite referee is Kenny Bayless? How has Kenny Bayless made the majority of money in his career? Y'all tell me. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's, it's because he's refed the majority of Floyd Mayweather's fights. Right? Who has been the most popular fighter since Floyd Mayweather? Who, who has that fighter been? The most popular. Who has that been? And I'm just, I'm just saying, you know what? All these guys that, that have some kind of relation to Floyd Mayweather, they're all, they all seem to be, you know, reacting to Deontay Wilder a kind of a different way. Kind of a different way. You know? But it is what it is. You know, the fight happened. And what, what's, ha what's done is done. All that can happen now is a rematch, a trilogy fight, assuming, assuming, you know, Wilder, he should, he should really fucking complain about this shit. He should really file a petition and try and get some kind of investigation while there's a lot of heat on Tyson. You know, there is a lot of heat on Tyson Fury right now for completely different reasons. But, but... You know, I think I just think Kenny Bayless did a shit job. Point blank up here. He did a shit job. Would that have affected the outcome of the fight? Y'all let me know in the comment section below, man. See King Fight News. Hey, smash the like button. You know, if you appreciate the content, hey, subscribe to the channel. You know, point blank period.
Kenny Bayless didn't show up on this night. He didn't show up. He didn't show up and he didn't do his job. But you know what? We're going to find out. We're going to look at the footage and we're not done. T-King Fight News. And I'm out, man. Peace.